Welcome to this tutorial which looks at installing WYSIWYG module in Drupal 7. Now to get started what I'm going to do is look up WYSIWYG. Um, now you can do this through Drupal or alternatively you can just do a Google search. So what you see is what you get, Drupal 7. So if you do have issues finding modules you can always just do a Google search. Make sure you put Drupal in it um, because there are modules available for other content management systems as well and it usually shows up as the very first search result. Now if you have a look at this module, basically what it enables you to do um, is it allows you to edit the content. So a client can actually go in, change a title, what the body looks like, um, use font types such as bold, italicize, change text size, paragraphing, etc. Um, it gives a really, really easy interface to do it with as well. So they don't need to know any HTML um, or any CSS. Now we're going to scroll down and download the Drupal 7 version because that's the installation I'm working with. And once you've actually downloaded it, what you need to do is extract it and copy and paste that module, the WYSIWYG module, into your site's all modules folder. Okay, now if I scroll down or I can just type in WYSIWYG, it's at the very bottom. If I click on that and go save configuration, and what will happen is um, it'll enable it and what I can do now to this module is configure it. Okay, So if I click on configure, you will get the following error. Now WYSIWYG profile is associated with text format. A WYSIWYG profile defines which client side editor is loaded with a particular text format, what buttons or themes enable for the editor, how the editor is displayed and a few other editor specific functions. But the thing is we don't actually have any editors installed in our library. So the one that we're actually going to install is CK Editor. Now it's really important that you read the instructions. And this is a great thing about Drupal. It always tells you what needs to be done. It's saying extract the archive and copy its content into a new folder in the following location. So inside the sites all I need to create a new folder called libraries and then I can put the CK Editor file in there. Okay. So let's do that first. Let's create that file. So we've got sites all libraries. Okay. Now in that folder I'm going to save that extracted file. So if I go back here, let's click on download. Now what I'm going to do is actually download an older version because I tried a newer version and it didn't work with um, my Drupal 7 installation. I don't know why. I'm not sure if I've done something wrong but I'm going to go along with CK Editor 3.6 and download that. Once you've downloaded CK Editor, you'll need to extract it and save the file in libraries and just paste CK Editor in there. Now, if you go back into Drupal, so I'm just going to go back one step, now I'm actually getting configuration options because it's recognized that there is an editor available in my libraries folder. Now, for full HTML, what I want to do is say that CK Editor is enabled and click on Save. And once I've done that, I can click on Edit. And from this point, what you can do is actually go through the different options and enable all the different features you want your CK editor to have. And I would suggest just enabling all of them. I'm not going to modify anything else. I'm just going to enable all my options and go save. Okay. And once that's done, I'll just go save again and close that off. Now, if you want to see whether or not it's actually functioning, let's go into content, add content. I'm going to create a basic page. And I'm going to call this page about us. And this is the body. So this is where the CK editor should actually appear. Now, it's not going to appear by default. What you need to do is scroll down to the bottom and where it says text format, select full HTML. And when you do this, what should happen is ta-da! You've got all your different options there. So now what you can actually do is start typing. For example, about this bookshop. Now if I wanted to highlight bookshop and go bold, um, I could do that. I could change the color of it as well. Again, you can go into more colors, select within a color range there as well. Okay, I went OK. And if I go provide a menu link, about us in the main menu, save. Okay, um, and now you're actually seeing that the changes are functioning. If I go back into the home page, um, you can see that my about us, again, I haven't stylized the CSS correctly yet, but I've got a home page and an about us page. And if I click on the about us page, 
this is what shows up on there. And that's it. That's how you install WYSIWYG.